Hey, what's going on traders? In today's video, I want to show you the MPE price action strategy that we've been talking about for the longest time. Okay, so in today's video, I want to break down each of these steps and I want to show you how I do it live. Okay, now if you have not gotten a copy of our price action strategy, okay, the link is in the description. Okay, this is a totally free PDF guide. You can see over here that there's 33 pages of goodness. Right, we have a lot of uh, you know materials inside here to help you get started in trading. Okay, now for you to use this strategy, I'm going to assume that you already know how to read candlestick patterns. Okay, in fact, uh, in this guide, uh, we do talk about uh, candlestick patterns. You know, we have a candlestick patterns cheat sheet. Okay, we also show you how to read the charts, uh, how do you identify a bullish candle, bearish candle, and all those good stuff. Okay, but for the purpose of this video, uh, I will not be going through that. I'd like to just jump straight into, into the MPE strategy. Okay, a very simple price action trading strategy that works. Okay, it's very beginner friendly, and I want to show, show you how we do it step by step. Okay, so MPE stands for the market condition, price level, and entry. Okay, so the first thing that you need to understand is that uh, you need to always identify the market condition of a current currency or any trading instrument that you are trading. Okay, so let me just switch over to the charts and let me show you uh, what do I mean by market condition. Okay, so the market condition is very simple. Okay. There are only three types of market condition uh, in any instrument. Okay, in the financial markets, there's only three kinds. Okay, you have a uptrend. Okay, let me just draw it. Okay, you have an uptrend where you have a series of higher highs and higher lows. Okay, so uh, you have a high here. Okay, you have a high here. And then you have a low. Okay, let me just draw it for you. You have a low, then you have a higher high, and then you have a higher low. Okay, so this is the first kind of uh, market condition that you have. Higher low. So basically, you are always looking at whether the market is making higher highs and higher lows. If the market is making higher highs and higher lows, then you are in a uptrend, okay? Very simple, okay? Uh, the opposite is also true, okay? If we are in a downtrend, then you will have this pattern over here, okay? It's just the opposite, nothing too special about it. Okay, let me just draw it for you. Okay, so it's the opposite. This is a low. Okay, this is a low, this is a high. Okay, this is a lower low. And this is a lower high. Okay, so this is really just the opposite of a uptrend. Okay, bullish or bearish is just the opposite. Okay, so these are the first two types of market condition that you need to be able to identify. Okay, and of course, the last one is very straightforward as well. It's when price is just changing trading in a range, okay, basically it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes back down, okay? Something like this, okay? So this is a trading range, okay? So step one involves identifying uh, where, you, where you are currently, right? What is the market condition currently? Are you in an uptrend? Are you in a downtrend? Or are you in a consolidation, okay? So let's look through uh, this chart. This is go over here. Okay, I want to take you through gold. Okay, so the question is, what type of market condition are we in for gold right now? Okay, it should be quite easy. Okay, if you cannot see it, just change over to the line chart and you can see that it's very clear. It's an it's uptrend. You have a, you know, you have a high, you have a low, you have a high high. Okay, no matter how you draw it, okay, your outcome should still be the same. Okay, the answer is you're in an uptrend. Okay, so let me just show you a uh, you know bearish example, and then after that, uh, we'll move on to step number two. Okay. Okay, so this is a bearish example, very simple. So you have a low here, okay, and then you have a high here, and then you have a lower low, and then you have a lower high. Okay, it's it's, it's that simple. Okay, so this is step one of uh, the day trading guide. Okay, this is the step one of the MP strategy that uh, we we have in this uh, PDF for you, okay? So uh, the details are here, okay? But I just want to explain to you, I want to show you in real time, okay? So after going through each of these steps, uh, we'll analyze some charts together and uh, you know apply each of these steps and make a complete analysis, okay? So hopefully that's you useful for you, 
Okay, so by the way, please give us a thumbs up, right? Help us to grow this channel so that we can impact more traders, right? Uh, make sure you subscribe, right? Give us a thumbs up. And if you have not, right, make sure you download this trading guide, okay? So step number two involves looking at the price level. Okay, now we need to ask ourselves, what is a good attractive price level for us to buy, okay? Or to sell, okay? So let me go back to the chart and uh, start plotting uh, the levels. Okay, so let's say we are using uh, this, okay? It's, it's, it's really simple, right? Just zoom out, okay? What you want to do is you want to take a uh, horizontal line and I want you to mark out the major turning points of the market, okay? Now, now I get it, right? You, you might be very confused. You might say, oh, is this a turning point? Is that not a turning point? You know, you, you, you are new, you know, you find it hard, okay? No problem at all, okay? I have a general rule for you, okay? If you are asking yourself whether you should include a level or not, then you shouldn't include the level, okay? I want you to choose the levels which pop up at you, okay? You shouldn't think so much, okay? So for me, I'll just do it like that, okay? You see how simple it is, right? I'll, I'll just eyeball it. I'm not overanalyzing. I'm just plotting the levels as, as it is, just like that. You see, see how fast this is being done, okay? You want to choose the levels which pop up to you, okay? So that's how you do it. And after you, you, you select the levels that pop out to you, what I want you to do is, I want you to adjust the lines, okay? Adjust the, uh, the lines that you draw such that it touch the most number of candles, okay? So this one is good, okay? This one, I'll just adjust it. Maybe I'll just adjust it somewhere like that, okay? And uh, this one, I'll just adjust it something like this, okay? Okay, and uh, like that, okay. So these are my levels, okay. So you can see it's very straightforward, okay. I've taken less than a minute to do this, okay. So please do not uh, overanalyze, do not overthink it, right. Your job is simple, just pick the obvious turning point, okay. If you really cannot see, switch over to the line chart and start picking the major levels, okay. Please do not overcomplicate it, do not confuse yourself and ask yourself, oh, this one over here, should I consider? This one over here, should I consider, okay. Or there is no need for that. Okay, you just need to choose the most obvious levels. Okay, so that's step number two. Okay, so let's return back to our um, uh, PDF. Okay, so price level is done. Okay, that's how you draw your price level. Okay, now let's talk about entry. Okay, now what we are looking at is we are looking for a confirmation that your support or resistance level is going to hold. Okay, so what do I mean by confirmation? Okay, we need a form of candlestick pattern. Okay, now this could be a hammer, it could be a shooting star, it could be a bullish engulfing, or it could be a bearish engulfing. Okay, now if you do not know uh, what this, you know, what I'm talking about, what are these candlestick patterns, okay, it's all covered in, um, it's all covered in this PDF. Okay, we have the, uh, the how to read the candlestick. Right, you have your shooting star here. Uh, you have your engulfing as well over here. Okay, so all these are provided over here. So uh, I will not go into that uh, because it's here. But I want to show you uh, at, in the charts, right, how do we identify, okay? So let's go back to the charts and let's look at some, uh, you know, engulfing patterns first, okay? So over here, uh, this is an engulfing pattern. Okay, let me just uh, see if I can uh, point it for you. Okay. Um, this is an engulfing pattern, okay, and then you have a uh, another engulfing pattern over here, okay, and uh, let's let's see if you can find another uh, bullish one. So bullish one would be uh, this case, okay, okay. So basically, it's very simple. Step number one involves identifying the market condition. Step number two involves identifying the key support and resistance level. And step number three is looking for a entry, okay? Your entry has to be based on a candlestick pattern, okay? So let's use this example and uh, let's go into, you know, the strategy step by step, okay? Because that's the purpose of this video, okay? So let's say uh, we are over here right now, okay? Let's say we are here. Okay, so step number one is uh, market condition. Okay, so what's the market condition? Previously, we already identified that this is uh, that this is uh, downtrend because you have a low, you have a high, you have a lower low, and you have a lower high. Okay, that's step number one. Okay, what's step number two? Step number two is you want to draw your support and resistance level. Okay, so we drawn it. Okay, we have this level, we have this level, we have this level, this level, and this level. Okay, so we have uh, all this level. Okay, what's step number three, which is E? 
right? We cover M, P, now we are at E. Okay, E stands for trigger. Okay, so right now, uh, what we want to do is we want to sell at one of this uh, resistance level. Okay, very simple, right? Because you are in a downtrend. So you only want to focus on selling, okay? At this point in time, if you are new, right, you are still learning, right, you're still struggling, please do not consider counter trend trade, just stick with trend trades, okay? That's simple, do not, do not complicate things, right? Achieve profitability with this strategy first, then if you want to trade counter trend, go ahead. But for now, please uh, focus on trading, you know, with the trend. Okay, so over here, you can see that, uh, over here, you actually do see that there's an entry. Let me just show you this candle over here. Okay. So what would happen on this candle, which is actually a bearish engulfing, you would have shorted. Okay, this candle over here, shorted it, put your entry. Okay. Uh, put your stop loss higher, a few pips above the high and target the next uh, support that you have. Okay, in this case, you target it this way, you will have gotten a nice trade off. Uh, one is to 2.6. Okay, so you can see it's very simple, right? Simple, but you need to make sure that you practice. Okay, so let's go through the process. Okay, uh, this video is probably going to be a long one because I want to keep showing you that this strategy works. Okay, I want to keep showing you again and again and again that this works. Okay, so let's go to the uh, euro dollar. Let's look at another uh, chart. Okay, let's start from scratch. Okay, let's say that uh, we are over here. Okay, so first question, uh, what are we, what type of market condition are we in? Okay, so you have a high here. Okay, let me just identify for you. You have a low here. Okay, you have another higher high here. And then you have a higher low over here. Okay, so what is the market condition? The market condition is bullish. So what do you want to do? You want to buy straightforward. Do not complicate it. Do not say, oh, should I sell the top? No, you just buy off support. Okay, straightforward. Please do not complicate this. Okay, step number two is P. You want to find price level. Okay, so just eyeball it. Select uh, levels, the obvious turning points in the market. Okay, just start plotting your lines. Okay. And uh, probably this one over here. Okay, so I've plotted uh, my support and resistance lines. Okay, now I've, I've uh, earlier on I mentioned that more than just plotting the lines, I want you to adjust it. Okay, adjust the line such that it touches the most number of candles. Okay, so in my case, I'm going to do it something like uh, probably something like this. Okay, this one I'll just adjust it again. Okay, remember, do not over overthink it. Just uh, you know, just do your just try to adjust it as as best as you can okay remember there's no perfect support and resistance level okay so we did step one and step two step one is uh market condition we are bullish okay so that means we want to buy okay next thing we did is we identify support and resistance level okay so the next step is that we need a trigger okay so in this case what happens is that uh you do have a trigger over here okay you have a bullish and engulfing pattern over here this one over here, let me show you. Over here. Okay. And this engulfing pattern broke the re resistance. Okay. And you're in an uptrend. So in an uptrend, you either buy the breakout of a resistance or you buy at support. Okay. So there is an engulfing pattern over here. Okay. So you could have entered a trade something like this. Let me show you. Could enter the trade something just like this. Okay, uh, I probably will put my stop loss below the uh, this this uh, pin bar low. Okay, just to be safe. And uh, sorry, I pressed the wrong one. Just a moment. Let me correct this. Okay, it's a bullish one. So I probably enter on this candle here, and I just uh, put my stop loss below, and I'll target the next resistance, which is somewhere here. Okay. So let's take a look. This one would have a very nice risk to reward. One is to two. Okay, again, very simple. Uh, just follow the steps. Okay. Now let's talk about another example. I want to keep showing you examples to prove to you again and again and again that this works. Okay. Even if you know you, you, you lose money, right? If you stick to this consistently, 
you just keep applying this strategy again and again and again and again, then you will be able to turn a profit, okay? I'm not saying that you're going to win 100% of the, of the time, okay? No trading strategy can do that. But I'm saying that if you diligently apply this strategy, um, you should be able to see a profit, okay? So let's try uh, this example over here. Okay, let's say uh, we are over here. Okay, so what happens is that now market is in a range. Okay, I'm not too sure if you can identify it, but uh, basically market is uh, moving between these two uh, ranges. Okay, so your market condition is range. Okay, so in a range, you're allowed to buy the support and sell the resistance. Okay, so that's step number one. Step number two is to plot the levels. Okay, as always. So just take your horizontal line and start plotting your levels. Okay, okay. so I only have two levels. Okay, let me just adjust it such that I touch the most number of candles. Okay, and I'm happy with these levels. Okay, so I have my support and I have my resistance level. Okay, so now what I need to do is I want to look for an opportunity to buy at the uh, bottom or sell at the top. So let's see if we get it, okay? Okay, not quite. This candle over here didn't quite uh, make it to the bottom. So let's just uh, be patient and let's just see if we get a trade. Okay, so this trade over here, this trade over here, this one can actually be considered a trade. Okay, that depends on whether uh, you like the risk to reward. Okay, let's say you were to, you know, take a long position, something like this. Let's see if the risk to reward makes sense. Okay, now by the way, uh, Always calculate your risk to reward. If it doesn't give you a good risk to reward, then uh, do not trade it, okay? So what you can do is you can put your stop loss below this uh, low point here, okay? And then uh, your take profit will be here, okay? If the risk to reward makes sense, then you can take it. If not, uh, just wait for price to come down lower, okay? So let's see. Okay, so in this case, uh, if you have taken this trade over here, okay, targeting here, and you did not manage your trade, you will have lost money. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, remember, uh, we are not trying to get it right 100% of the time. Okay, in fact, if you have a risk to reward of 1 is to 2, you do not need to be right more than half the time. Right, even if you are right 4 times out of 10 times, you are still profitable. Okay, so your, your goal is to make sure that uh, you are taking good uh, risk to reward trades. Okay, so this is how you apply it. Okay, in fact, uh, if you trade, let's say you trade this uh, hammer over here. Okay, uh, you will have lost money or so, but you have you are sticking to a proven process. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to uh, you know teach you right here is that as long as you stick to the process, you'll be fine. Okay, there are going to be losers, there are going to be winners, and that's fine. Okay, so let's say uh, let's carry on our analysis. Let me carry on to show you. Okay, uh, right now let's say in this point in time over here. Okay, uh, we are in a downtrend. Okay, why are we in a downtrend? Very simple. You have a high, you have a low, okay? You have a lower high, and then you have a lower low, okay? Doesn't matter where you draw it, okay? You, you have a lower low, basically, okay? So you're in a downtrend. So the question is, uh, where are you selling? Where do you want to sell? So same thing as always, start plotting your levels, okay? So uh, just eyeball it, okay? I have a support here. Okay, I have a turning point over here as well. Okay, let me go back. See, okay, and I have this uh, intermediate level as well. Okay, and then I have uh, this level over here, this final level here. Okay, let me just draw it properly. Okay, so as always, just adjust the line such that it touches the most number of candles. But um, in this case, I think that I'm happy with these levels. Okay, so right now price is over here and you see a very nice shooting star. Okay, so you could actually trade this because it's, it follows the process, right? Step number one is to find a market condition. So the market condition is bearish. So step number two is find your support and resistance level, which we have done at uh, 1.1937. Okay, so you want to sell at resistance. Step number three is look for a candle. Look for a candlestick pattern to enter. Okay, in this case, we have a candlestick pattern over here. So we just enter it. Okay. So in this case, you would have uh, been a very nice trade. You can see that it carry, carries on to work like magic. Okay, let me just show you. Okay. 
Okay, so let me just show you this trade. Let me just plot it out. Okay, so if you enter somewhere here on upon the candle close and you know just put a stop loss somewhere above, you know, some distance above the uh, high, the spike high, and you target the next uh, support. Then uh, this is the trade, okay, and you have gotten a nice re risk to reward of uh, 1 is to 2.19. Okay, it's a very easy setup. Okay, you just need to uh, apply it. Okay, so let's carry on. I want to keep giving you examples. I want to keep showing you how to do this so that um, you know you really understand how it works. And more importantly, I want you to practice it. Okay, if it's possible, right, try practicing uh, every single day. Right, if you can dedicate one hour a day to practicing this, okay, do it one hour a day for the next 30 days. I promise you that your trading results will change. Okay, but you have to put in the time and effort to actually master this trading strategy. Okay, so now, right now, we are on this uh, portion of the chart, right, where the uh, market condition is actually a, a ranging. Okay, so you can see it's actually just bouncing between the highs and lows. Okay, so in a range uh, condition, right, in a consolidation, you want to be buying support and selling resistance. Okay, so that is step number one market condition, right, in this case, in this portion of the chart. Okay, we're in a consolidation. So let's plot the highs and the lows. Okay, so again, you can zoom out so that uh, you consider this as well. Okay, you start plotting your price levels. Okay. And then after that, you start adjusting your your you start adjusting your levels, okay, such that it touches the most number of candles until you are happy. Okay, in this case, I think I probably will do it like this. Let me just see. Yeah, I liked it like this. Okay, so this is how uh, I would draw it. Okay, so step number one is done, right? We are in a consolidation. Step number two is get your price levels. I've done that as well. Now step number three, we need a trigger. Okay, so let's see if we get a trigger. Okay, so this one over here, you do actually have a uh, hammer. Okay, so what you can do is you can actually buy. Okay, in this case, I will buy. Okay, let's say I'll buy it over here. Okay, and I'll put the stop loss uh, just, sorry, this is the wrong one. Let me just delete. I'll do this one. Okay, I'll buy here. Okay, and I'll put the stop loss uh, just below the swing low. And I'll target the other uh, resistance that I have. Uh, just a moment. Okay, so I'll set, set it up something like this. Okay, and let's see if uh, this trade plays out or not. Okay, now please understand that uh, I'm just trying to help you understand the process, right? The actual results is not as important, right? I just want you to stick to the process. Okay, so in this case, this trade uh, was a loser. Okay, and that's fine. That's all part of trading. Okay, so in this case, uh, the support was broken. You got out with a small loss. Okay, so let's carry on. Okay, let's carry on. Um... So right now we are bearish, okay? We are bearish because uh, you have a swing, you have a swing low here, you have a swing high here, you have a lower low, and then you have a lower high. So you are in a downtrend, okay? You are in a downtrend, and uh, what do you want to do in a downtrend? You want to sell, okay? Very straightforward, okay? So right now your bias is to sell, okay? You do not want to trade consolidation anymore because the market has broken out of the consolidation. Okay, so step, step number one, step number two, as always, is you want to get your levels, okay? So I'll draw a level over here. Okay, I will, ideally, I want to identify a, a resistance level which I can uh, sell at, okay? Maybe I can do this as well. Okay, maybe something like this, okay? And then uh, for support, I have uh, this level here for sure, okay? And uh, yeah, I think that's that's it for now. Okay, so let's see if we get a trigger of any of these levels. Okay, so in this case, you see that uh, there is an engulfing candle over here at resistance. So what you can do is you can enter again. Okay, you can enter the sell trade and uh, just put it like that. And uh, your stop loss is just some distance above and uh, your take profit is uh, below here. Okay, again, remember, just watch your, your risk to reward. Make sure that your risk to reward is uh, decent. Okay, if you have a good risk to reward, you do not need to be right a lot of times, right? You can be wrong most of the time and yet still make money. Okay, so let's see. Okay, in this case, it's, it's again another loss. Okay, it's just part of trading. Okay, but re just remember that the process is always the same. You always identify the market condition. Then you go on to the price level. Then you look for a trigger, okay? If it's a loss, it's a loss. It's fine. Okay, so in this case, what happened? Price broke above uh, this, this level and it went higher. Okay, so no issues. Let me just delete this. 
Okay, so right now price is at the second resistance that I've drawn. Okay, in fact, uh, let me just adjust it. Okay, I prefer it like that. So let's see if we get a trigger off that level. Um, not quite. Um, I don't really like this yet. Okay, you can just wait. Okay, so in this case, uh, maybe if you entered here, it's a bit late because it's very close to support. Okay, so this is what I mean. Okay, this is what I mean. Let's say, let's say that uh, you do not enter on this candle, okay, which uh, personally I hesitated. Okay, you did not enter on this bearish engulfing pattern. That's fine. Okay, let's say you saw this candle and you are convinced. But the problem is that if you were to enter, you know, here, on this candle here, uh, there is no space anymore and the risk to reward doesn't make sense. You can see that, uh, you know, your risk to reward is terrible. You're getting like a 0 0.34. Okay, so in this case, you wouldn't have traded it. Okay, so more than just applying the strategy, I'd like you to consider about the uh, risk to reward as well. Okay. Okay, let's go on and then uh, maybe I'll just show you one last example. Okay, so in this case, uh, you know, price did this, uh, rebounded. Okay, in fact, uh, here I would consider it more of an uptrend already because you have a, uh, okay, let me just clear it first. Okay, I would consider at this point a uptrend already because um, you have reversal signs, you have your left shoulder, you have your head and you have your right shoulder. Okay, so in this case, I would be looking at uh, this level already. I'll be looking at buy. Okay, in fact, you can actually see a higher high and higher low if uh, your eyes are not sharp enough. You just change the line chart and then you can see that actually you have a higher high here. Okay, let me show you. You have a high here, you have a low here, a higher high, higher low. Okay, so that's step number one. I would say that I would uh, market condition is bullish. So step number two is I will identify the key levels. Okay, the key support and resistance levels. Okay, I would draw it something like this. Let me see. Okay, and uh, three would be a. Uh, okay, so if you didn't buy off this hammer, okay, then you probably will get in somewhere here, maybe on this uh, engulfing pattern here. Okay, depends on where your entry is, but uh, in this case, you should have a very nice uh, profit target, right? Risk to reward. Okay, let me show you. Let's say you enter something like this and your stop loss is just below this low here. Okay. And uh, of course, your target is the recent high. Okay, you still get a very nice risk to reward of 1 is to 1.46. Okay, so this is how you apply uh, this MPE strategy. Okay, so I think I've shown you enough examples, right? I want you to practice this, okay? Just a gentle reminder, okay, about the three steps. Step number one is you look at the market condition first. Right? Ask yourself if the market is in an uptrend, downtrend, or consolidating, okay? Your market condition will determine what you want to do, okay? In the uptrend, you want to be buying, right? In a downtrend, you want to be selling, okay? In a range, you can do both. You can buy low, you can sell high, okay? Now, then you want to identify the price level, which is your support and resistance levels, okay? As I said, uh, do not, you know, do not try to get it perfect, right? Just eyeball it. Choose the most obvious level, okay? If a level is uh, questionable to you, then just ignore it, okay? The, the rule of thumb is that you want the obvious levels to pop up at you, okay? If it pops out to you, then it's obvious level. If it doesn't, then it's not a price level, okay? And step number three is you use the entry using each of this, uh, you know, one of these uh, price action candlestick patterns, okay? Again, uh, all this is covered in this three-day trading guide. So make sure you just check it out because uh, everything is just there for you, okay? If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below, right? I want you to practice this, okay? We will record more videos like this, right? Uh, more charts, more analysis if you like it. So if you like this kind of video, please leave a comment down below. Let us know, okay? If you have any questions, so please let us know, okay? And also help us to grow, right? Help us to like this uh, video, subscribe, right? So that we can reach more traders. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.